Here's an ADA building code that you might not be familiar with. I, at least I wasn't until recently. And that is the cross slope of the walking surface or the area perpendicular to the line of travel. What we're looking at here is a cross section of a walkway or sidewalk. And I went ahead and drew a little line. You can see it there. And I moved it back a little bit so that you can actually see the area in back is level. The area in front is sloping to give you an idea of what I'm referring to. There is a maximum distance that you are allowed or that you cannot go over. And that is a ratio of 1 in 48. So I went ahead and put together a sample of what I was of what they're basically asking for to see if I could give you a better idea. So you have a 1 in 48 inch ratio. This is the maximum slope. So if you were to go out one foot, that would be a quarter of an inch, two foot, a half inch, three foot, um, three quarters of an inch. So realistically, this is the maximum. If you have a sidewalk or walkway, like the one in the picture where it's up against a building and you need to slope it away so you don't have problems with water accumulating, then you are not going to be able to go over um, if it's a three foot wide walkway. It cannot be more than three quarters of an inch or a quarter of an inch per foot. And I'm using 36 inches because this is the minimum width of the walkway according to building code number 403.3. The running slope of walking surfaces shall not be steeper than 1 in 20. The cross slope of walking surfaces shall not be steeper than 1 in 48. So that ought to give you a pretty good idea. And again, I really didn't know there was a code for this, but most uh, concrete layers use a quarter of an inch per foot as a maximum. This provides you with a comfortable walking surface and allows for water to drain off. But don't forget, these are areas as a builder that a building inspector could nitpick. And you could be in trouble if you have any part of the walkway any section of the walkway that exceeds the 1 in 48 ratio, you could be tearing out the walkway or patching it, doing some type of work to it. So keep that in mind. And again, this is my greatest concern for a lot of people who build is, for one, they don't know about this code, um, if they don't know about it. And two is, even if they do know about it and they need to get a maximum uh, distance, something that's a quarter of an inch per foot, just so they can get some water off of this walkway and it's not pooling up. And uh, you have a section of it that's one and three eighths of an inch or even one and a half, um, you know, uh, one half inch per foot slope, something like that. You could be tearing this stuff up. So, so uh, be careful.